right, I ordered this to replace our current controller for our AC unit. Uh, this one I found on Amazon, and I think I paid about 30 bucks for it. It's a two-stage. It has one-stage heat, one-stage cooling. So we're going to try this one. I'd seen some people had used some different ones, and uh, but ours doesn't have a, a digital readout. You can't tell the temperature really, and plus this one has a large display, so you're supposed to be able to see it without having to put your glasses on. So it's uh, battery operated too so it doesn't have to have the 24 volt power supply so it's got a owner's instruction manual installation manual it's got a lot of information in there looks good so looks pretty handy and you've got operations tells you how to set everything um, here you got some little wire labels mounting hardware and then the unit oh, there it is nice looking unit I'm going to cut it on this side first so I still have my wire colors. So, there's how the old unit looks. And this is what the new unit looks like. So, we mounted the plate. We ran our wire, white wire to our white. Our red wire over here to red I'm gonna take this jumper out for a little bit see I don't think we need that uh, I need to do a little more looking up but I don't think we need that jumper and then of course this green goes to the green make sure they're tight yellow to yellow hey guys wanted to pause the video right here for a second and make a quick disclaimer I'm not an AC guy I don't claim to be an AC guy and do this at your own risk I got this information by searching other YouTube channels. There's some great ones out there. I suggest you watch theirs too. And also reading several, several, several AC forms and doing a lot of research before I did this because I was really confused about the whole power and uh, thermostat setup system. But uh, you know, after studying a while, it, it become clear how it worked. It, the thermostat is just a switch. So all it does is this unit, particular unit, runs on batteries that provides the power to do the internal switching. So if you set your AC, you want it to come on at 70, uh, you want the temperature to set at 72, and the temperature goes to 73, all the unit does is it calls for the red wire to connect to the yellow wire and to the green wire for the fan. It just makes that internal connection of those wires and provides it provides that 24 volts over to that and causes the unit to switch on. So that's how it works. It's just a switch. You're not using the onboard power with this battery power unit. But just wanted to make that disclaimer. Do this at your own risk. Study. Knowledge is power. So let's continue on with the video. And there's what we got. So let's see what we blow up when we install the thermostat here. So this is the one I bought. So let's see, let's put some batteries in it. Alright, so it's coming on. Look at that. I guess I should have turned it off. I like the big display easy to see at night so yeah compared to trying to figure out where you're at on this which I mean this thing works it's, it just looks bad look at there works like a charm all right let's see if it comes back on
it's on delay so I think we got to wait five minutes compressor delay so and it comes back in five minutes you should turn on <laughs> 